Hey everyone, it's Steven from Toastamac, and welcome back to the Toastamac Talks, where we sit back, relax, and I talk about life. Today I want to talk about how to get back into the routine after the holidays, be it either a personal vacation, or maybe Thanksgiving, or Christmas, or whatever. But before we get to that, I want to address why this can be such a challenge for so many people, myself included at first. And a lot of you may be thinking, shouldn't it be easy to get back into the regular schedule after a vacation? Trust me, it's not, and here's why. When you're on vacation or when you're on the holidays, all of a sudden you have so much more time available to you than you previously had when you were at work or at school or whatever. And with this extra time comes this sense of freedom, this realization that you can do so much more now, like spend more time with friends, family, loved ones, maybe do some hobbies like video games, watching anime, or reading a book, going out to play sports, going to a movie theater, socializing. The opportunities are endless. So. Once you have this taste of freedom, it's it can be very difficult to change the mindset to, okay, I got to get to this more stricter, more narrow schedule, and that means I won't have time to do a lot of the other things that I've been doing during vacation. So when you had this taste of freedom, it's really hard to give it up. So. With this in mind, and knowing that you have to get back into the routine somehow, how do you go about it? How do you get back on the horse and get back to what you need to work on? Some people may say having an inspiration helps, which I agree, that definitely helps. But many others would chalk it up to motivation, that you have to motivate yourself to get back into the the to get back into the regular schedule. Now, this is gonna sound like a rather unpopular opinion, but I feel like I should say it. And I'm gonna say, no, you should not rely on motivation. You shouldn't have to focus on getting that motivation to get back on the horse. Instead, I prefer to focus on two very important things and that is initiative and discipline. Initiative helps you get started to get the ball rolling and discipline helps you see it through to keep working on whatever it is you're working on until it is completed, until you see it come to its fruition, until the job is done. For me, initiative and discipline have helped me so much not only through college, but with getting the YouTube channel started in the first place. Now you might be wondering, why am I saying no to motivation? Because it feels like something we've been taught about our entire lives, or at least throughout our childhood, that motivation is important. The reason that I have this mindset is because of a certain series I saw on the Rooster Teeth website called the Bernie Vlogs. This is more of a personal series that Bernie Burns, one of the founders of Rooster Teeth and one of my personal heroes, have created. You can find it on the Rooster Teeth website or you can find it on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description down below for the YouTube playlist for the Bernie Vlogs. Whenever you can, I highly recommend watching it, trust me. It has had a huge impact on my life in adulthood as well as a content creator. Now before recording this, I actually had to write down what Bernie said about his thoughts on motivation. And it went like this. <clears throat> I don't believe in motivation. I don't think that motivation is something that actually exists and I don't think it's something you can cultivate because motivation is an emotional component of inspiration. I read this really great post on Reddit one time that said, 
emotion or motivation is fickle. You have to cultivate discipline in order to get stuff done. Motivation is not something that you can force. It's not something you can get. It's something you just have to have. And it comes to you on its own volition. And that by cultivating discipline, by working on things even when you don't want to, that's how you can get things done over a long period of time. And that's so much more reliable than the emotional component of motivation. The trick, they said, is not figuring out how to get motivation. The trick is figuring out how to work without it. So as you can see here, or here in this case, sorry, motivation is fleeting. It's fickle. It's not reliable. It's not something that's always going to be there for you. So to rely on something as unreliable as motivation is kind of like taking a gamble. If you don't have if you have the motivation to work on something one day and don't have the motivation to work on the next, then what's the point of motivation? How are you going to get things done? But by cultivating initiative to get started on something, because usually the first step is usually the hardest one, and then the discipline to see it through, like you started something, now finish it. You can get so much more done with initiative and discipline. That's how I'm able to keep Toast Mac going for about close to four years now. It's also how I've been able to keep doing the good doctor discussion, even though God knows I want the pain to stop. I do not like where this series is going. But you get what I'm saying here. Once you get rid of the emotional factor, the random wild card that is motivation and have the consistency of initiative and discipline, you'll find that you can get a lot more done than you were able to in the past. So if you're trying to get back into the routine, don't focus on getting yourself motivated, just focus on getting it done. Whether it be simple things like making a to-do list or maybe just jotting something down on your phone, make some sort of list or objective, <laughs> sorry, objectives that you have to complete within maybe a certain amount of time or a day or a week or whatever as long as you do something to get the ball rolling. And with that, that's all I have to say about getting back into routine. I hope you find this video very helpful, but what do you think? Do you agree or disagree? What are your thoughts on motivation versus initiative and discipline? Let us know in the comment section below and let's start a conversation here. And on that, I'm gonna end the video here before my camera dies. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to Toast to Mac to stay up to date in our latest videos. And until the next one, see you later.